The next fly is called a Scotty's Midge, and the it got its name is a very close friend of ours, Scotty Heppel from Memphis, Tennessee. We often use him kind of as a guinea pig. Here, try this fly pattern, Scotty. And he came in one day and he said, God dang, I saw these big brown trout over on the Ruby River and they were taking skittering midges, emerging midges that were skittering. They were still caught in their pupil shuck. And in the wintertime and springtime, the pupil shucks on a lot of these flies will be this color here. Coachman, what we call Coachman Red Zelon, almost like a beer bottle color. With that, we use that, and you can see that red color, the trailing shuck, and we see fish go out of their way to take a fly with a red shuck in the winter and early part of the season. Okay, so we're using light olive 80 uni thread that. Our thread over the wraps of Zelon, our shuck, is going to form the abdomen. A fairly short shuck. Now we're going to tie a thorax of our midge black Zelon dubbing. Once again, very important because you've got some sparkle and you've got some spike to this dubbing. There's some guard hairs trapped in that and limitate the legs of an emerging midge, which are very long. There's the abdomen, okay? Now you're not gonna believe this, but this wing that we tie on, we tie it forward, almost a, a la Bob Quigley style, in the Quigley cripple style. And what this fly will do is it'll move on its own. It basically catches wind catches a slight breeze or the current or the breeze from the, that the current is creating and it skitters this fly. And it was designed to do that. And again, that word design. Okay, a short wing forward, one, two turns, just like we did on a sparkle gun, a couple more to lock it in. And now we trim the butts. Now notice, we're going to leave some of these butts exactly as is. That's the fly right there. Now we're going to whip finish. Resisting all temptation to trim any of those fibers. Leave those fibers. They imitate the wings of a struggling midge trying to get out of the shuck. Trim that one here though right there. There it is, it's Scotty's midge. View from up on top. View from the body. This fly will skitter on its own, and I guarantee this fly will catch most rising fish you see selectively taking midges. Scotty's midge.